Hello. Hi. So today, we are going to discuss a new feature, which is how do you place trade into your multiple accounts. So, let me first explain you the problem situation. Like why did we develop this particular solution? So let's say, you are providing services to your multiple clients, and you want to set up the alert. So as soon as alert comes in, you want trade to get placed in all of your clients. So let's say you have 10 clients who also want to trade, but they have their different Tradivate account and they have connected PickMyTrade with their Tradivate. And you want to make a trade. So whenever buy or sell alert comes in and you want to place trade into their accounts. So we have provided these kind of features for you. Now, that is possible. And that's something which we are doing only because in the market, no one is doing that kind of feature. That feature we have developed. So let me explain you that feature, how it can work and what kind of changes we need make there. And if you are already using this, and if you don't want to use this feature, you don't need to do any other changes. So first let me explain you the alert. Let me open the alert. Currently you have an alert. So this is your current alert. If I go to pick my trade and copy the buy alert, it looks something like this. So this is your current alert. We don't have a multiple account. This is going to get changed for the current user, whoever don't want to use the multiple account feature. But if you want to use the multiple account feature, then we have provided one more tag, which you can use to place trade into the multiple account, in that we explain each and every use for that. So you are going to add this particular tag, multiple accounts, and then, this kind of curly braces, this kind of things you can copy as many times as you want. So let's say if I want to include three accounts, so I can specify that. And let's say if I want to place 10, I can put 10 times over there. So there are four flags which I am going to explain. First is token. So token is, basically if you see this, that is the token. Let's say, this is my token. And let's say, I am creating alert and I want to place into my account and another two accounts. So, I would put in my token and then my account ID because let's say if I have five account and I want to place in two accounts only. So I'm going to create, let's say I have this kind of thing. So I'm going to create these two nodes and I'm going to put the same token, but account number is different. And, I have another user, let's say their ID is eight. So I want to place into their account as well. So I would put their token from their account so we can ask them. Whatever your token is, they can submit you their token and you get their token in place. Their token and then their account ID, whatever account they want to place. So that you can pass their trade. By this way, you can achieve multiple accounts like trade copier kind of features easily. And then, we have exposed two more nodes. Risk percentage and quantity multiplier. So risk percentage value. I'm going to explain that. Let's say you are using multiple accounts and you put the risk percentage over there. So it's going to use that particular percentage. So let's say I want to expose 10% into my account. But for my client, I just want to expose 5% so I can put 10% over there, 5% over there. Accordingly, I can adjust the risk. And if risk percent is specified there, then it's going to take that and it's going to ignore that risk percentage, which is defined above. And let's say if you don't want to put risk percentage, you want to put the absolute quantity. So let's say you are placing the quantity as a three and you want to place half quantity for your client 0.5%. So I would put 3.5. So I would put 0.5 over there. How does the calculation work? It would place in this account for this quantity as one quantity. We are placing a trade for three quantity and three into 0.5 is 1.5 and when we round off it will become one so in this particular account it's going to place one quantity so that's the kind of multiplier features which we also provided that way you can use this trade copier kind of features and let's say you have 100 clients you can place trade into all the 100 accounts so that's how it's going to work and all tpsl or whatever this thing is you are going to pass it over there that's going to copy all the accounts you and your client don't need to worry about the configuring alert updating the alert and all those kind of things you can singly manage all those kind of things so that's the feature and one more thing which I want to add. Let's say if you define the multiple account, you don't need to pass the account ID or token over here because when you specify multiple accounts, it's going to search into multiple account like the whichever token you are given. So let's say you want to place in your account as well. You can simply remove this token and just specify your token over there. It's going to work that way. I think that's pretty much what we wanted to explain. And that's kind of an advanced feature which we explored. And if you want to use this feature, you can start using. 
and if you face any issues, if you have something in your mind, if you have some suggestions, you can reach out to us. That's pretty much it. Keep using, pick my trade and make profits. Thank you. Thank you very much.